Welcome to Tuesday's Tips from So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and have you seen these magic clips with the little metal ends on them? Let me show you some of the things we can do with them. Magic clips come in two different sizes. They're a sewing notion, and they're just like the name says, they're little clips. As quilters, we normally think to use these for binding. They're easy to clip on so that we can sew them. The bonus with having the clip that is metal and flat, and you can see it's very flat here, is you have a large surface that you're able to clip with. You can clip with just a little bit at the end, you could clip with a little bit more, and you can clip all the way right to the end. So you can adjust wherever you want to put these clips. You can also sew very, very close right to the very end of that metal piece. And because they have very flat bottoms, they're going to stay nice and flat on the sewing machine bed. They're not pulling the fabric up or pushing it where it's not supposed to go. And you don't have to remove them. The foot will be able to go right over top of the metal. Now you can't sew on the metal, of course, but we can sew right close to the edge. And we can remove the clips after. All we have to do is make sure that the needle is not going to run over that metal. And you won't have to worry about running over any of the metal pieces because that bottom metal is smaller than the top piece. So as long as the needle is clearing this area, you're going to be fine. So sewing on binding is going to work the same way. It's going to be especially nice when you have a curved binding because we don't need to remove them. They're also great if you're doing hems. If you're doing a large hem, it's nice to have a little bit of an extra area that's being held down. With a large clip, you're going to be able to hold a large portion of the fabric down. So it won't matter if you use the clip to its full, to just a portion of it, or right to a very small end, the entire clip is usable. Even with the small ones, you can do the same thing. The small one takes quite a big bite, or you can go as big or as small as you like. When we're cutting a lot of strips at the same time, we're always having to check every single measurement to make sure that we're ex the exact mark that we want to be on. For example, if I want to cut a pile of strips at two inches, every strip I'm going to have to make sure that I'm on that two inch strip mark. You can use these to mark. You do have a window right in the middle and that is where you can put your two inch mark. If you prefer, you can put it on one side or the other, but by putting it in the middle, you won't have to remember what side you need to be on. And because of that flat bottom, the ruler is going to still stay flat on top of the fabric. The big ones work and the small ones work. So you can put the marks on both ends of the ruler. Now I will know just at a glance what I need to cut. I like to prepare all of my fabric for my project before I start sewing it. So I'll cut all of the pieces that I need and I like to keep them on a board and keep them together with my project. That way I know that I have enough and they're ready for me to take to the machine. And sometimes I need to put them away because I'm working on something else. So the clips are nice and big so I'm able to clip my fabric right onto my pattern piece. And that way when I've put this away, I know exactly where it is and what it is supposed to be. And it holds quite a bit of fabric. When I'm traveling, I also like to have my fabric pre-cut and ready to go for the machine. But I want to keep track on what I need to be sewing together. So the clips work great. I know that these little points are going to be sewn right onto those corners. So now I can just pick this up and take it and I'm not going to worry about missing anything and all of my pieces are going to be together. Both sizes have the flat bottoms and the tops are marked. They're very flat and very handy. How many things can you think to use these for? 
Thank you for joining me today on Tuesday's Tips. Feel free to subscribe, and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're going to be sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.